Significant figures. Objectives. Distinguish between measured and exact numbers. Explain what are significant figures. Identify the number of significant figures in a measurement. Perform addition or subtraction calculations to the correct significant figures. And finally, perform multiplication or division calculations to the correct significant figures. What are measured and exact numbers? Measured numbers are obtained by measuring a quantity using a measuring tool such as a ruler. To report a measurement, we estimate one digit beyond the mark lines in the measurement being used. Exact numbers, on the other hand, are obtained by counting items, example, four nails, or the numbers in the definition that compares two units in the same measuring system, example, 100 centimeters is equal to one meter. How many digits in a measurement are significant? Here we have two rulers. Ruler 1 is measured to the tenths place. The screw is measured to 4.2 centimeters, while in ruler 2 it's measuring to the hundredths place, 4.15 centimeters. The same ruler is used to measure two additional screw. Using ruler number 1, we see the screw is exactly at 4 centimeters. Since this ruler can measure to the tenths place, our answer is reported as 4.0 centimeters. Using ruler number two, the screw is 3.2 centimeters exactly there. This ruler measures to the hundredths place, so our answer is reported as 3.20 centimeters. Significant figures are all the digits including the estimated digit in a measured number. 4.15 cm contains three significant digits, while 3.20 cm also contain three significant digits. The zero at the end is also significant. What are the rules to determine the number of significant figures in a measurement? Any digit that is not a zero is significant. One or more zeros between non-zero digits are significant. One or more zeros at the end of a decimal number are significant. All the digits in the coefficient of a number written in scientific notation are significant. Zeros are not significant if they are at the beginning of a decimal number. Zeros are not significant when they are used as placeholders in large numbers without a decimal point. These are the six rules to determine the number of significant figures in a measurement. What is an alternative way to determine the number of significant figures in a measurement? P-L-A-R. If a decimal point is present, P, then count all the digits from the first non-zero digit from the left, L, side of the measurement. A-R. If a decimal point is absent, A, then count all the digits from the first non-zero digit from the right, R, side of the measurement. 16.35, a decimal point is present, so we are coming from the left side. The first non-zero digit is 1, therefore everything after that is significant. 10.35, decimal point is present, so we come from the left. First non-zero digit is 1, everything is significant, 4 significant figures. 0 0.0035, a decimal point is present, so we come from the left. The first non-zero digit is 3, two significant figures. 0 0.00305, decimal point is present, so we come from the left. The first non-zero digit is 3, therefore everything is significant, three significant figures. Another decimal point is present here, so we come from the left, four significant figures. Now on the right side, there are no significant figures present, so we come from the right, absent, right. Three significant figures, absent, come from the right, four significant figures. Now here we have 250, there are no decimal points, so we come from the right side, the first non-zero digit is five, two significant figures. Here, there are three significant figures. The PLAR method. If the decimal point is present, you come from the left. If it's absent, you come from the right.
How can we maintain the precision of measurements after performing calculations? When performing calculations involving measurements using a calculator, it is necessary to report your answers to the appropriate precision to which the initial measurements were made. How do we report the answers when adding or subtracting measured numbers? When performing addition or subtraction, record the final answer the same as the measurement with the least number of decimal place. Here we have one decimal place, 149.5. Here we have three decimal place, 3.625. Our final answer should be reported to the least number of decimal places that our measurement had. In this example, it is one. So our final answer should be 153.1, which is to one decimal place. How do we report the answers when multiplying or dividing measured numbers? When performing multiplication and division, record the final answer the same as the measurement with the least number of significant figures. Here we have 5.52, the three significant figures, multiplied by 3.1, which is the two significant figures. The rule states that we must go to the least number of significant figures, so our final answer should have two significant figures. Here it is 17. How can we round to obtain the correct number of significant figures? It is sometimes necessary to round the calculated answer to reflect the level of precision in terms of the decimal places or significant figures that must be reported in the final answer. If the number to be dropped is less than 5, then it is dropped with no change made to the number before it. If the number to be dropped is greater than 5, then it is dropped and the number before it is increased by 1. Note, if the number to be dropped is 5 or greater, and the number before it, it is 9, then it is changed to 0, and that number before it is changed, increased by 1. Here we have 42.96, rounded to one decimal place. Since the 6 is 5 or greater, the 9 goes up by 1, in this case it goes to 0, and the digit before the 9, the 2, now becomes 3. 